What's going on guys? I'm Mars Bill and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Farm tutorial video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you my food cooking array here. And this array will cook food very, very quickly for the most part. But the biggest benefit of using this is going to be that it is totally and absolutely free after the initial build of this farm. This farm will cook any kind of raw meat that you can place on a campfire. And that will include pork, fish, chicken, or even beef and it does it pretty much free after the initial cost of building the farm. Because this farm is so cheap to build, it makes it perfect for early game, but it also makes it perfect for mid game or even late game status as well. And it is just overall a great farm and very simple and easy to build. Well, I was going to show you guys a demonstration of how the farm works. However, there is currently a cow that has taken up residence inside of the minecart, so I apologize for that. No. Great news guys, the cow actually decided to leave my minecart and I also found some beef in order to test this thing out. So let me show you how this thing works. So in order to use this farm, we're going to grab all of the meat that we want to smell and we're going to jump inside of this minecart. Turn to the right, hit this lever and we're going to turn and face these campfires. Now we can just go ahead and spam click all of our meat onto these campfires and they're going to fill up placing four pieces of meat on each campfire and whenever they're done cooking, it's going to pop off. And as soon as all that meat pops off, you'll be able to see that mine cart picks it all up. And then it's going to stop here on the docking station and unload all of the meat inside of this chest here. If you like this farm and you want to see more farms like it, consider subscribing. I have a ton of farms on the channel along with a ton of different redstone contraptions as well. So go ahead and check that out. I also have a ton of farms coming up. And to show you, this is just a few of the farms I have coming up. This is a multi farm here. This will produce a ton of wheat seeds and also a ton of flowers depending on the block that you build this farm on. This will also produce a ton of nether grasses and also a ton of the fungus that grows inside of the nether as well. And it will use all three of these blocks to do so. If you are looking for a small compact micro flower farm, then this one here, you can go ahead and place whatever flower that you want here, such as one like this. And then you can go ahead and fill up bone meal here and then go ahead, throw on the farm, and this farm will produce a ton of flowers for you. This one is totally compact and very small, being a five by five blueprint. So it takes up very little space and it makes a ton of flowers. If you somehow need more flowers than that, then I will show you this one here. This is probably the most manliest flower farm on Bedrock Edition. This flower farm produces well over 110,000 flowers per hour, and it is able to be turned up from there. However, I was having trouble with the pickup system, being able to place all of the flowers inside of the chest fast enough. This is a 10 times hopper unloader going at 10 times hopper speed, and it just barely keeps up with what I have it set to now. So this thing goes very, very quickly. And if you are ever curious just how fast that is, well, you can look down here and see all of these flowers that are being produced. And if you look inside of this, you can see just how fast this chest actually fills up. You can also use all of those flowers to make a ton of bone meal, although the flowers only produce about 10 to 20% profit on bone meal. So they're probably not the best choice if you want a very efficient bone meal farm. However, the option is there with a farm like this. This one I probably will not do a tutorial on because there's better ways of doing bone meal. However, these three here will be on the channel upcoming along with many, many other farms. So be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss any of those. Thanks. A few notes before we get started, you're going to want to mark out a 18 by six block deep platform like the one that I have in front of me. And you want to make sure that this platform is chunk aligned. That way you don't ever run into any of these vine carts disappearing or deleting themselves. You can build this without it being chunk aligned. However, you want to make sure that you turn off that farm each and every time that you either unload the game, turning it off and leaving to the menu or leaving the area unloading the chunks because then you will have a possibility of deleting the minecart. If you want to make sure that none of the minecarts ever get deleted, then just make sure that it is chunk aligned on both axes. So that way you never delete any of the minecart. If you need help chunk aligning, then I will show you a shorts video that's less than a minute long and it is linked in the top right right now. That video is going to show you the leaf method and it shows you how to find the chunk borders just using leaves. So all you have to do is collect a little bit of leaves and you are able to find all the chunk borders. That way you don't ever run into any trouble. So once you get a chunk aligned, it should look just like this and you should have it centered. That way none of your rails ever cross the chunk borders. If you look over here, we have a overhang of one row of blocks on this side and an overhang of one row of blocks on this side. That's because this is 18 blocks wide when a chunk border is only 16 by 16. So you want to make sure that it is totally centered just like this. And if you're wondering what resource pack I'm using in order to make these chunk lines, this is the Foxy No-Tail marker pack. 
and you'll be able to find that on foxynotel.com, which will be linked down inside of the description below. Once you have that all marked out, what you want to grab is your block of redstone. You're going to want your solid building blocks, a redstone capacitor. You're going to want your rails, your powder rails, your chest, your redstone torches, your repeaters, your hoppers, and also your redstone comparators. Man, that was a lot to say. And you're going to go ahead and go to this bottom left corner. You're going to count to the right by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. On this 10th block here, you're going to go ahead and remove that and place down a block of redstone. If you don't want to use blocks of redstone, you can dig down by two, place down a torch here and a solid block here, and then that will power your rail as well. However, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the block of redstone. So you're going to place a block of redstone here, walk forwards and skip this block, and then remove this block in this block here. Go ahead and place two more in that place. So it should look just like this. Next, we're going to get started placing in our unloader. So come up here to the top right corner. We're going to count to the left by five from this block here. One, two, three, four, and five. On this fifth block, we're going to place down a solid block here. Skip this block and place down a solid block here. Go ahead and grab your redstone comparator, and we're going to face a comparator coming out of this block facing towards the left. Take your redstone torch and place a redstone torch right here. Then you want to take your solid blocks and place a solid block here. And then you're going to crouch place a solid block on top of that comparator. Go ahead and grab your redstone repeater. Face a redstone repeater towards the right hand side. Leave that on the standard one tick delay. Then we're going to take a double chest and place a double chest here. And then we'll take our hopper, come around to the back side and crouch place a hopper into the back of that chest. So this is what you should have. Next, we can go ahead and grab our powered rails. We're going to place down a powered rail right here. Place down a regular rail here and here. Then we're going to build this to the left by three. One, two, and three. And then we can build this all the way across until you are one block away from this block here. Then you want three powered rails. And then you can build this all the way until you get one block from the end. Then we're going to turn this around, bring it all the way back. Place down three more powered rails. Then we're going to build this all the way across here until you get to the very end of the straight track. And then you're going to place down a powered rail here. And then you can place down a solid block just like that. Next, you're going to come back over here and you're going to skip this block here, place down a solid block here, place down a powered rail here, grab your regular rails and you're going to bring this all the way across until it meets up with the end of your regular rails. Place down three more powered rails and then you're going to place down more regular rails until you get to the very end here. At the very end here, you are going to place down a powered rail here, remove this block here, place down a redstone torch and a solid block on top of it, which should power this rail. Next, you're going to grab your glass, your trap doors, your campfires, and also your buttons. You want to grab your glass and you're going to come over here to this block here, place down one piece of glass, and then place down one trap door right here. Now we're going to extend this to the left by an additional 15, making 16 total trap doors going all the way towards the left. And if you counted correctly, this should stop right here and be even with this block. Next, you're going to go ahead and grab your campfires and you want to place a campfire on the back side of each one of these trap doors. Going all the way across, there should again be 16 total. Next, you want to grab your glass and you're going to extend this out by two towards the back. And you're going to bring this glass all the way across the back side here. Once you get to the other side, you're going to build this out by one and then towards the front by two, just like so. Then you can go ahead and place down a temporary block here, place down a piece of glass here, then another piece of glass here. And we're going to extend this all the way across the front directly above these campfires and directly above the trap doors. The next thing to do is to get rid of all of the smoke. So we're going to grab our buttons and we're going to place a button directly above the glass block that the smoke is coming out of. And all of these buttons are going to take care of all of that smoke that's coming up. So once those are all placed in, all of the smoke is going to disappear and it should look like this. Next, you can go ahead and grab your lever, your minecart, your hopper minecart, and also your repeaters. And you're going to come to the right hand side here and place a repeater here on a standard one tick delay. Do not adjust it and then place a lever here. Take your regular minecart and place it here and your hopper minecart and place it here. And then whenever you hit this lever, it's going to dispatch all of your minecarts just like so. And once you turn off this lever, your minecart should be able to return to the docking station and then they should stop right here. Now all we need to do is grab some raw meat and go ahead and jump in the minecart to give this thing a test. Go ahead and grab the meat, turn on that lever, face directly over there towards the campfire and then you want to spam your left click button and then you're going to place all of the meat on the campfire and they should begin to pop off and then the hopper minecart is going to pick them all up and place them inside of this chest with the hopper on loader and yeah, nothing like fresh steak however i could use some bacon to go with it so uh, i'm going to finish up this tutorial and me and this little piggy is going to go and have a chat 
If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and drop a like. And if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like it, then go ahead and subscribe along with hitting that notification bell. That way you are notified on each and every upcoming video and you don't miss a single thing. I greatly appreciate it and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye.